class two today in your maths lesson you're going to be learning about prisms the family of prisms so a prism is basically any shape that has two of the same 2d shape on either side so this one has a hexagon on the top and it's got a hexagon on the bottom and the other faces are all of the all the same shape they're all rectangles okay and basically the way i know that this is a prism is that if i cut this shape this way like that with a knife then i would still have a hexagon if i cut it there i'd still have a hexagon if i cut it there i'd still have a hexagon okay so that's called a cross section and both both of these shapes have exactly the same cross section wherever you cut them they'd always always be the same shape this one would be a rectangle a rectangle 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 all the way across so basically if you can imagine that I have a hexagon, a flat hexagon, and I make it grow all the way up forever and ever and ever and ever, amen, then I would still have a hexagon, 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 and it would keep on going forever and ever. Okay, that is what makes it a prism. Now, there's a bit of a controversial point of view here because our big maths suggests that a cylinder is also a prism, but when I looked it up on the internet, because I didn't think a cylinder was a prism. When I looked it up on the internet, it said it's not because this one has a curved face. So who knows whether a cylinder is a prism or it's not. If you can research into that and let me know, I would love, love, love to see that. So this shape is, I mean, it's really hard because this shape also, if I cut it, it would still be a circle, 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 forever and ever so. I don't know, I can't make up my mind. Who can find out whether it's a prism or not? Right, it's your job today, basically to identify, uh, for one smiley face, it's your job to identify the names of prisms and to identify all the names of the 3D shapes. For two smiley faces, it's your job to try and find me some prisms that you have in your house. So for example, I found this box of cheddar uh, and this is a hexagonal prism. I found this box of matches, which is a rectangular prism, or could be also called a cuboid. This one is a cylinder and it's a can of tomatoes. Um, so I found three prisms in my house. I wonder if you guys can find any more. For three smiley faces, it's your job to get some little balls of something. It doesn't have to be moulding clay or whatever it says on their job. It could be blue tack, could be plasticine, could be... Play-Doh could be anything that's sticky, could be toothpicks that you use instead of straws, could be twigs from outside, doesn't matter at all, just has to be roughly the same length and width. Um, and it's your job to have a go at guessing how many balls and how many straws you'd need to make a prism. I think you're making a cube first, so guess how many balls and how many straws you'd need to make a cube, uh, and then make a cuboid as well, then guess how many uh, sticks and balls of clay or balls of plastic or whatever you'd need to make a hexagonal prism, then have a go at trying to make a triangular prism and predict how many balls and how many sticks you'd need to make that as well.